What's good everybody, it's your boy OBJC and for today's video I am going to be showcasing how you can build a brand new gaming PC on a budget. The budget for this video is $450. I thought as if that was the perfect medium just because you could buy a brand new PS4 for around $350 bucks plus a game, you're almost at $410. I thought as if you could have more fun on a gaming PC and it's more useful, you could use it for school, homework, whatever you want to do, editing. A gaming PC is basically all around perfect for whatever you really need it to be. Before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys that I'm doing a big giveaway. The giveaway is going to be for a mouse and keyboard. The brand is MSI. It has RGB, all that type of stuff you guys want to see. So it is a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard. If you want to enter up, all you have to do is drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the links are going to be down below. And before we get into the video, you can buy all the stuff right now because it's all in stock and it's from Amazon. Basically, the only place you can buy parts from right now to build a PC is Amazon. So I felt as if Amazon was a perfect place to go. If this video helps you out, like I said, do me a huge favor, drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and without further ado, let's get into the video. To start off with, I am going with the Micro ATX case, just because it is a mid-tower and it does have the acrylic side window, and it's fairly priced. A lot of cases are very expensive. You see cases that are 300, 350 bucks, even $200, whatever the case is, this is fairly priced, right around $48.39. In my opinion, I like the really, really dope RGB strip that it has through it, as well as the acrylic window. I feel like all the parts that you're putting into the PC look so cool that like you always would want to see it. That's just my opinion, so I picked it. If you scroll through it, you could see that it does have the RGB strip right through it. It has all the ports you need on the top as well. And it does have the acrylic window with a built-in fan. In my opinion, this is a perfect case just because it's not too big, not too small. As well, it's fairly priced and it does have that cool RGB strip. To keep going, I did go with the B450 motherboard just because this motherboard is fairly priced at $73 as well. It's going to fit everything you needed to fit and it's going to run perfectly fine. As you can see here, it's a beautiful motherboard and honestly, I thought it was going to be more expensive. When I was searching up motherboards, I was looking at quite expensive ones. There's some for $300, $400 and honestly, this is the perfect build just because we are trying to stay under $450. I did go with the RX 570 just because this is the perfect medium. It's not an overkill graphics card, but it's not too low as well. And honestly, for 130 bucks, it is perfectly worth it. And in my opinion, this graphic card is super dope and super reliable just because my friend has this same motherboard. And honestly, he said he'd recommend it. He had another motherboard. He has two different PCs. He has his overkill PC and he has one that he brings around with him. And honestly, he said that this is perfect for the price just because it performs just as good as his $400 MSI graphics card. So that's why I went with the RX 570. To keep going, I did go with the Ryzen 5 1600 just because this is a perfectly priced at $85. And honestly, this is basically what's gonna get you to store your memory, all that type of stuff. This is basically the brain of your entire computer. And honestly, for $85, you can't go wrong just because this is a very solid, very reliable, and a very reputable company. All right, so for the SSD, I did go with the ADATA just because this is a perfectly well-rounded SSD. And honestly, if you're not streaming or if you're not an editor, you really don't need that big of an SSD. But I did go with 480 gigabyte. I was searching up for a 240, but I felt as if for the extra couple bucks, it was worth getting the 480. Honestly, if you're not a streamer, like I said, or whatever the case is, you don't really need a big SSD. So I did go with the ADATA, 480 gigabytes. That is coming out to about $55. And honestly, for that price, you can't beat it. All right, so for the dual memory sticks, I did go with Patriot just because I have a couple friends that use the same exact brand. And honestly, the brand that I went with, it wasn't really worth it just because I spent over $200. And honestly, I played on their computer and it's the exact same thing. There's some things on a computer you should spend a little more money on and there's some things you should have spent a lot of money on. This entire build is basically a budget build for under $450. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm not leading you in the wrong direction. This came out about $40 and honestly, for the price tag, you can't get better than that. Okay, so for the power supply, I did go with the EVGA just because it offers amazing warranty as well. It's probably one of the greatest on the market. I have this on my $1,500 PC as well as all my friends use EVGA as well. So I wouldn't recommend anything that I wouldn't personally use. And honestly, this power supply is the greatest you can buy. And honestly, for the price tag, it's well worth it. All right, that wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to do me a huge favor. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Do not forget to enter up the keyboard and mouse giveaway. We are giving away a brand new MSI keyboard and mouse. You do not want to miss out on it just because I know a lot of you guys watching this video are on a budget and honestly, what's better than free? If this video helped you out, be sure to do me that favor. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.